Welcome to Land the House. How long has it been since we had a vlog? At least a year, right? So it's raining out today and I'm gonna go down here to the new shop or the new shed that was built and install some <laughs> ant killer. This thing has been here for six months and the ants have just become quite active. And uh, let's go in here real quick and see if we can find some ant trails. So uh, I've been doing two videos a week for a while now. And I thought, you know what? Let's bling up, let's bling. Let's bring up the vlog and hopefully uh, get you a third video on this channel. So if you're new to the channel, thank you for being here. I used to do vlogs every week and that went away for a while. And this is a shed that I built in November of 2020. How are we doing? Looks like the battery today is at 13.7. So let's turn that on, walk back over here. And we have light. Uh, so yeah, I used to do vlogs all the time and I stopped for a while. And I wanna bring them back. So let's see if we can find, oh yeah. Let me see if I can get you up closer to these guys. All right, so what we have here is a carpenter ant nest forming. Super exciting there. I saw them a couple days ago walking around in here. So we're gonna dust the perimeter with that uh, fire ant poison. I have found that that stuff works out really well. There was also some regular ants getting in here. I don't know if I can find any of those or not. They were over here before on this wall, but I'm not seeing them. Anyway, uh, so every year I have to walk around my buildings with this fire ant poison. Uh, the tiny house that I built 100 years ago and then both of my shops, and then also the house has issues with these ants getting in there. So let's go ahead and toss out some of this. I wonder if we can find where they're getting in. I'm assuming it's over here on this side. I've seen the most of them over here on this corner, but I don't see them walking in and out. But anyway, we'll just go ahead and dust the edges. I have used this knockout for years now, and it seems to be highly effective. Uh, this is an Amazon product. Uh, I think I also buy it somewhere. It's like a doityourself.com or something like that. But anyway, um, I don't touch it. I just keep the bag halfway closed, and then I dust it out just lightly around the perimeter of my buildings. Yeah. Nothing serious, just like that right there should do it. I think it recommends about a foot away from your surface. But anyway, let's go along here real quick and get these ants taken care of. That should take care of those ants here in the next couple of days. So I built this shop or shed. It's a 14 by 20 and it's full already, which means it's time to build more. <laughs> so I'm back here behind the shed where I've got this nice flat area. And I've been actually digging out the hill over here a bit more. My thoughts are, I'm gonna build a, a lean-to that is 16 by 20. So I think I marked out somewhere around this rock right here. It's where it's gonna be. So this whole area in here will have a little lean-to. And I'm gonna put the lawnmower under and the wheelbarrow and my uh, ATV cart that's up in the front of this building. Anyway, so it will go uh, extend into that hill just a little bit and sneak back over here. And uh, I think I'll have one side on it close to the road here. And that will prevent some of the wind from being an issue. But anyway, that's the thought for this little space back here. And I think it will free up any of the little things that I want to put just out in the yard. Um, so my neighbor is going to take down these trees right here because they are already... Uh, stressed and leaning bad. So we'll fall those over here, cut them up, and then I can dig back this hill a little and have a nice spot. But anyway, uh, that probably won't take place until the fall because I've got a bunch of other stuff to do, like uh, hydro videos and ram pumps for the springtime here. Um, okay, I'm gonna go real quick and dust the tiny house and around the house up here 
with this ant poison and keep these ants uh, from making homes in here uh, sooner than they should, which is never. <laughs> uh, so, can you see me in this light? I'll try it over here. For the past 14 years, I have worked a third shift job and it has uh, been pretty amazing, but I think the stress of that job is getting to me and it's time to um, move on. So that being said, I am working out the financial aspect of our lives and looking at quitting that job sometime this year in 2021. Uh, so, um, continue to watch videos, don't skip ads. <laughs> uh, no, but really though, uh, I just noticed that I'm uh, frustrated quickly because of lack of sleep, and then uh, I guess just not as present as I should be with my kids and family. And also, my creativity here with the YouTube channel is kind of low at the moment. So, um, last week I worked 100, well, the last week and a half I worked 115 hours of third shift. And basically it was just a zombie for the rest of the uh, time. So uh, I just wanted to point that out that I think I'll be able to improve my creativity once I get away from uh, the third shift job. Okay, cool. I've spent most of my work day this week putting together ram pumps and boxing them up, but also getting the new housing for the PMA. It's simply a plexiglass base where you can watch the water fall and then exit. And then I've got... Uh, a PVC trim midsection here so it won't rot. I'm kind of concerned that some water will splash back up out of here. We'll see. But anyway, it's looking nice so far. And then now I am cutting some triangles to put the last shelf in down here at the, uh, the shed. So let's take these down here real quick and see if that's enough or if we need more of them. I drive a Toyota Matrix from 2006. And it has been a really fantastic vehicle. I have put 200,000 uh, miles on it and it's still going pretty strong. I'm hoping to run that for another two years and then I am considering a brand new 2023 uh, Toyota Tacoma. It would be the dual cab and regular bed. So let me know what you think about that vehicle. I have currently saved up $4,000 and I anticipate this thing to cost somewhere around 40. So I've got a long ways to go, but hopefully within two years, I can save that kind of money. We shall see. I wonder how our ants are doing over here. Um, yeah, anyway, just write that down below if you think that's a good uh, thing or not to be buying. Yeah, these things are all over. Yeah. dive bomb. <laughs> so it looks like they are climbing up right there. I don't know where they're getting in though because I just sprinkle all the stuff outside but did not see a trail of them. But anyway, we'll see what they look like here in about two or three days after they've been walking through that uh, poison. Okay, looks like I have cut enough of these triangles. I've got five of these support pieces and then the last one is just uh, screwed directly onto the other wall so I only have to have the five. I was gonna have more shelves in here put these up a little bit and do another one but this piece of plywood was 60 bucks in 2021 prices that's uh, way more than I wanted to pay so anyway I just bought the one and I'm gonna do one more shelf down here and then I can put stuff on the floor as well and I am gonna go ahead and put support pieces like this two by six in here, uh, probably two of them. Maybe one right here on this leg and it'll go all the way up and then probably one over here on this one because I have about, uh, well it's over a thousand pounds worth of PVC uh, ram pump parts that will go on these. And I was kind of fearful that if I just stack it up there, it may start pulling the wall uh, toward us and I don't want that so anyway all right uh, I'm not gonna bring you along for this because you've already seen the videos on building these shelves but we'll go ahead and start doing that oh yeah what I was saying before I can pull these four-wheeler closer to the middle here and have more shelves on this side and then the lawnmower will be outside under that lean-to so basically I will uh, be able to double my storage and still have the four-wheeler in here 
and the lawnmower won't be right there. And so I can uh, walk around the four-wheeler and get back to the Tools Tech and Gear studio space that is over here in this back corner. I added a rug. I haven't shown you that. And I've got another rug here. And also I've got uh, these triangular uh, sound panels. So maybe in a little bit in this vlog, we will move on to doing that. So I'm thinking about putting these maybe up top a little bit. And then I've got this other rug that I could cut up and put like on the door or something just to uh, dampen that sound. I was even thinking about putting a piece up here on the ceiling, but I'm kind of afraid it's going to attract ant nests as you're seeing that we have here. So I don't know. We'll just give it a try. But I've already noticed a difference in the sound by putting the rug down. And so that is definitely helping. Four days after I put the ant poison out around the buildings here on the property, and I do not see a single carpenter ant left. So they are out of here. So before they were coming in from this corner here and traveling up this wall and up here, making a little home somewhere in that area, but they are gone. I wonder if I could find any of them down here or something. Yeah, I don't see anything. But anyway, so that uh, seemed to do the trick. If you uh, want to get rid of your own ants, I'll have a link to that in the description down below. I have found it to be very uh, effective. I just got a shipment of these PVC inline valves in for the ram pumps. So we've been in this house now for about uh, six years, I guess it is. And when we first moved in, it took about uh, six months to get the internet and we finally did. It was fiber and for our area, the highest speed you can get, which was uh, 100 down and five up. And I've been paying $100 a month for that. Some people are going to uh, be surprised because that's like the, the cheapest $10 service in their area. And some people are gonna say, it must be nice to have internet. <laughs> so uh, I called my ISP and said, uh, hey, we've been here for a while. Is there a new uh, speed tier that we could get into? And I said, we've doing the 100 and the five. And so the person looked it up and said, oh no, you're doing the, uh, the 200 down and 12 up. So apparently for the past year, we have had much faster internet and I just didn't even know it. Um, they seemed to act like it had been uh, in place for quite some time. So uh, all that being said, I now have internet that's fast enough that I could do uh, a live stream. I have only just attempted to do a live stream a couple of times with no real goal in mind, just wanted to see if I could do it. And uh, anyway, let me know in the comments down below if a live stream is something you would enjoy if I were to do that. So uh, I don't know what day it would have to be. Probably, I don't know, uh, Thursday night maybe? Tuesday night? I have to see. Um, I might could swing a Saturday. No, probably not. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Um, so, uh, I can't remember if I already mentioned this or not, but I'm considering leaving my third shift job that I've had for 14 years. And if I do that, I would then be free for a lot more time than I am now for doing a live stream. So uh, leave me a comment down below if you would enjoy live streaming and if that's something that um, you want to have on a regular basis and also what kind of content you expect from live stream. Um, I was just thinking a question and answer like, I don't know, once a week, once every other week. Um, and then maybe I can do some live streams just around the house with um, other things that you want to know about. Anyway, um, so I think that's going to be the end of this vlog. I am gonna get back into the things like that I used to do with vlogs. So basically I'm now using my wife Ashley's G7X for tools, tech, and gear. And then my regular uh, G7X, which I've used for years right here is Land a House. And so the GoPro that I'm filming on now, uh, I know the audio is always terrible with GoPro. So we will see what this first vlog does on the GoPro. And if it works well, I will then use this for my vlogs. And that way it's easier to carry and keep in a pocket 
but also I can keep my footage separate because I've got uh, just so much here with the three different cameras that it's kind of hard to keep up with. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to clean up my uh, workspace here and I'm actually currently working on the housing for the micro hydro. So you can get a, uh, a quick sneak peek here. Uh, I am gonna be um, fixing the wiring here. Uh, JL Lane, my subscriber, is sending uh, some stuff to fix that with. And I'm gonna have to replumb all of this in the next hydro video because I did not do a very good job at alignments. But anyway, housing looking nice. So uh, stuff coming up that you should look forward to. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.